Welcome everyone to another episode of Replay. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today we're taking a look at Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is a part of our Grand Theft Auto 5 coverage for GameInformer.com. I have Dan Reichert with us. He's playing the game. Hello. How's it going, Dan? Doing good. You're a huge fan, I know. Oh, I love it. Kyle Hilliard. Hey. How's it going, man? Going and well. then Matt Burtz, who wrote the cover story for us and is our big GTA expert in the office. How's it going? Good, good, good. So uh, this is kind of end game content we're looking at when you get uh, the jetpack from Area 51. Actually, I'm kind of worried we're playing on Ben Hansen's profile, and I just realized I'm going to the San Francisco area with a Z, which probably means it's one of the crappy Zero missions. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, David Cross, you know, he's cool. I like we him, but I, talk. Don't, I don't want to fly a stupid uh, <laughs> helicopter around. Well, we can also just kind of use this as a sandbox experience for us here. But this is the biggest game that Rockstar has made in terms of game space. And three complete cities, just gigantic cities, the countrysides and deserts in between, uh, allowing you to, to pilot any sort of vehicles, whether it's a jetpack or a, a fighter jet. Hovercrafts. Hovercrafts. Uh, airliners almost. Yep. like First parachutes, right? That was... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's Bicycles. what Grand Theft Auto V is doing. It's going back to this kind of giant world, uh, the Los Angeles setting. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny watching this, just seeing the difference in the draw distance between uh, San Andreas and uh, GTA V. I mean, it's... I mean, you're seeing stuff pop up right beneath you, basically. Oh, yeah. Here. And the other game, you can see lights in the distance. You know, the whole city street lights. All of it lit up. But is this more realistic in terms of Los Angeles smog? This is a San Francisco This is here. San Francisco, so this would be fog. They, they call their smog fog. <laughs> <laughs> Progressive. <laughs> All right, yep, this is definitely a zero mission. Awesome. Damn it. You know what? I bet Hanson got to this and then and quit stopped. the game and never played it again. Yeah, that's a Hanson <laughs> thing to do. I bet you anything this is going to be like one of the worst missions. I think I remember this one. I know exactly which one this is. You think it's the little uh, model fight thing, oh, or yeah, do you the, think it's the, the helicopter? Oh, God. You almost got hit by a car. Yep. How do I... Okay. How do there I was a time this playing thing? this where I came out of a pizza joint and got hit by an airplane. <laughs> what? That like, was crashing on the street, like, perfectly timed. <laughs> That's something uh, I, I love about the series, is it's just so unpredictable. I know, I know a lot of people, like Andy Mack, doesn't like it when he's driving down a road, he's in a race, and then there'll be a car that just kind of comes across the street. That's just yeah. kind of what that's happens the stuff in the series. I love. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. chaos is great. It gives the world its own flavor, you know. And life. See, yep. you Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very There's busy David Cross. Top, top secret damn it, Hanson. He Come seriously on. gave us a save file right before this mission. <laughs> Come on, God Paul, damn it, Hanson. Well, why don't you? Yeah, well, you can always <laughs> just if you fail, then we'll just go. Just go shoot a bunch of people. Some people do. Some yeah. people do just go cause chaos when they click on the card. Oh yeah, they just kind of ignore the missions. Yep. Then nip some pretty strong draws. What does he have an eye patch on? Okay. Carl. He came back and humiliated me. And CJ, <laughs> such a great character, such mm -hmm. a great lead for this for this game. You can make them all fat, and broken. make them real muscular. I like that. I am a yeah, that's something they got away from. You had to work out, eat food. Yeah, I remember I had my bicycle I skills really high, which I was awesome because you could get like hit by a car riding the bicycle around and you would be fine. Yep, which yep. was awesome. Look. You gotta get even. I mean, granted, it's kind of it's not very realistic at all to like beef up your bicycle skills plane. to that point, but it's fun, you know. Yeah. It's, it's great. Also, a lot of really good voice acting here. Uh, Sam Jackson as Tenpenny is great. I know James so Woods. Uh, he was one of the guys in the desert. I think he's like that's yeah, agent crazy. or something. Yeah. And that's something they said they're getting away from. Is yeah, that's right. Is celebrity actors in in the new Grand Theft Auto for main roles? Yeah, for main roles. Yeah. I mean, it got to the point for the. I mean, the amount of time they record maybe four movies worth of dialogue and. To pay a, a top tier actor to take out that much time out of their schedule is ridiculous, yep. and it's just in, their schedules are very inflexible. You know, they they have to go do a shoot somewhere, so it makes more sense for them to find somebody that they're just going to be this character. They're going to be Michael. They're going to be Trevor. Yep. You know, they do all the motion capture stuff too, right? Like they double yeah. oh, up. Yeah. So I think oh, when uh, was it was it when Nico was cast for Grand Theft Auto Four. He was he was just cast as the motion capture guy, and then they brought him on to do the voice work. Or is that a story that I just made up? <laughs> I don't remember the details of Nico's. I hate this mission. I remember Nico wanted more money. After oh the yeah, game after the up. game came out, yeah. that's my main. No, uh, didn't, oh uh, Nico did too. I know Roman uh, had some stuff too. This sucks. God damn it, Hanson! I just I want to get out of this mission and just kill people. <laughs> just one of the most hated missions in Grand Theft Auto history. 
I bet Hanson's upstairs, like, saying, I hope they get it pa get past it for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah for so we can finally beat this game. That's the Hanson thing to do, is start a game and say he loves it, and then quit because he... Oh, great, that guy's shooting a plane. I got really good at these missions. <sighs> would you like to take the controls for me? No, I would not. Oh, I my think God. I even, I even hit this mission, and I think I put the game down for something like three weeks and then ended up coming back to it. It's Just in a state of depression for <laughs> three, for almost a month. <laughs> this is the worst. Press circle to self-destruct. Press self circle to self-destruct. Self oh. No, I want to try to dive bomb a thing. Oh my god! Now, you can't press circle to self-destruct. Uh, I can do what now? You can press circle to self-destruct. Okay, no, we're gonna turn this ship around. Nope, we're not. Screw it. I'm hitting circle. Hold it down. I'm holding circle. Oh god. Oh. Great soundtrack, and oh, I, yeah. I think on this station, Axel Rose is like yes. one, is the DJ. Tommy right? the Nightmare Smith, yes, yeah. one of the few things he did during this period. <laughs> yeah, it was such a shocker when we found out it was him. I was like, where has he been? Yeah, this is actually while he was recording Chinese Democracy. Oh, that was a beautiful shot there, John Wu shot with the, <laughs> the doves. <laughs> uh, at least we're getting a good look at you know San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the building is just kind of. Materializing. You're getting the hang of it here. Yeah, die, 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 die. yeah, but it's really easy for the wheels to just go right off. Yeah! Uh, only three delivery boys left. Oh boy. You can do this, dude. Uh isn't it just wave one, two? Uh no, I think this is it. Oh god damn it. You're really aiming for those poles, man. Oh, they they home in on you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay. Uh, god damn it. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, don't do that. What are you doing? Stop doing that. Okay. Uh, I'll be curious to see what... Uh, one thing we didn't get to talk about when we were doing the cover story is the music. You know, obviously a lot of those deals come in at the last yep. minute. So oh, yeah. We're not ready to talk about that stuff yet, but I can't wait to see some of the radio stations return. Maybe K-Rose out where uh, Trevor lives, you know, the country station. Uh, they'll obviously probably have a hip-hop one, a rock one. Rockstar's so good with music, no matter what game it is. Like, whether it's an original soundtrack like Bully, or, uh, you know, something like, oh, great. Okay. One of the, uh, one of the things I really loved about 4's music is there was all kinds of music that I had just never heard before. Like, all the Russian hip-hop and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Like, that stuff yeah. was really cool. I like that a lot. Because I like, I like hearing, like, San Andreas has a ton of songs that I know and love, but I also really like Whoa! their selection in, uh, in 4, where it was just stuff I had <laughs> never heard before and never would have heard otherwise. Yeah. Bitch, huh? Let's let's cut here and boot up another mission. Okay. All right, we're in CJ's house in Los Santos. This is where you start the game, and uh, this is kind of where they started doing all those fun little mini games and stuff like that, right? Like you could sit down in your house, play a play a TV, mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto Four. You could watch TV shows. Yep. I want to go. Uh, looks like I got a lady friend over here. Let me go see what she's up to. Wow, <laughs> that's First how people time jump. You could uh, jump over uh, stuff like that too, or like you grab on the side so. to pull yourself over. Yeah, I believe so. All right, what lady do we have here? Let's go on a date. The dating is actually super helpful later in the game because you can date a police officer and like oh, yeah. all, uh, you you'll keep your weapons when you're arrested. Like I don't think I could have beaten the game if I hadn't taken care of that stuff. And dating is one of the ways you can pull off the casino heist to get the key, as well. Uh, you remember the gimp suit that you could get? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you, yeah. do you remember the half-assed uh, uh, co-op mode? Yeah, that was weird. Like the camera zoomed out. And yeah, it was. It was nothing really. You could just kind of <laughs> hang out together. I, that's that's actually how on a date. Of, that's how most of Dan's dates actually yeah. go. <laughs> I just wind up stealing something and then she leaves me. <laughs> you were going as fast as the cars on the highway on a bicycle. Oh, I'm that's a fit great. guy. <laughs> oh, I cannot go up that. See, I think I think Hanson's safe file here has the bike skill up really high too. Yep. I still don't think it's high enough to get up. This stuff. Whoa, oh, that's nice. fun. Nice. What's up, Matt Hoffman? Whoa! Oh, what there's a gang. Well, I'm trying to get out there. There's a gang war up there. I gotta save my uh, fellas. Let's see. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that there works. we go. I'm in shape. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, fellas. Oh, here's a skate park. I always try to take the bike in there. I never, never really worked very well. <laughs> Where is the gang war happening? It looks pretty gang war on my map. I think they're hanging out. Well, this the is streets. a gang controlled territory. I don't know if there's actually a war going on here yet. Uh, is there? Oh, okay. Let's well, give me the, the target, war. though. Hmm. I, I put the target there. No. Oh, Ooh, mind. there's another thing that popped up. What's that over there? 
There's a guy. Is that one of those random uh, dude missions? Another oh, spike. I'm out of run juice. Yeah, I think everyone figured out that you could tap X in Grand Theft Auto 3 to run pretty much yep. infinitely. They got they got rid of that. Yeah. Definitely. I find myself doing that in other open world games. Yeah, me too. Oh, Instead constantly. of just holding down the button, I, I just start jamming on it. Yep. Yeah, he definitely gets tired in this. I will take that so I can get it faster. I don't think he was using it. Oh, officer. Ugh. The HPV 1000. Stealing a motorcycle from a cop is only one star. Yep. A misdemeanor in California, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what is that icon? Man, this does SD does not age well. No. This does not look that great. This also didn't have the GPS stuff on the map either, right? Which was really helpful. I think four. Because, yeah, because yeah, I remember when Saints Row came out, everyone was like, holy crap, that's pretty awesome. And then uh, four had it, obviously. What's in here? Oh, I'm going to try to rob this place. Bell. Okay. God, these games are fun. I can't wait for five. <laughs> Yeah, and still no release date. We know it's, what is it, spring? spring. A doodle clock. <laughs> I'm going to eat a burger and then hold you up. I'll take the, uh... <laughs> they just have these already the underneath the thing. I'll take the cluckin' big meal. Only 10% guano! Alright, now I'm done. It's actually pretty close to, to realism. <laughs> it's just <laughs> out on the back burner, though. <laughs> Excuse me, I would like your money. Don't kill him. He needs to give me some money. Oh, Damn! <laughs> <laughs> no patience. Good lord. He wasn't going to go for the register. He's a good employee. Employee of the month, probably. Had all the food ready. <laughs> oh, look at the counter. <laughs> Where did he get that from? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, oh, well, good job, Dan. the robbery went well. <laughs> you, didn't, you left with no money and uh, two mm -hmm. murders. Trying to remember how to duck as well. Oh, jeez. There we go. All right. That was productive. Yeah. Let's go to an airport. Okay. I can Let's mark that on the map. Try to fly a plane. Oh, yeah, because you can uh, skydive. Mm -hmm. I used to always take the bike into that U.S. bank tower and then ride it off the top. And uh, that was really fun. There's a jump up north in the desert area up on a cliff. And we used to just take every car, like drive, drive miles yep. with a car just to have it there and then jump it off the cliff. Definitely. It's, okay, there's the LAX, basically. We will head that way. Oh, yeah, vigilante missions. I love that cop did not notice you. <laughs> no. Cop bike. Yep, that guy's oh. a cop. He's undercover. Must have been a new guy. <laughs> undercover with the <laughs> siren going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys have oh, a... Oh, gosh. All right. You have a favorite city in this one? You know, I really, I, I would say it wasn't the city. I think it was the countryside between uh, Los Santos and San Francisco. What's that one? San Fierro. San Fierro. And is that where Peter Fonda was? Was he the kind of like Willie Nelson type yeah, of Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's where you had the crazy woman that you were kind of dating and you had to race. And then you ended up going against Claude Claude from Grand Theft Auto 3. Yep, And he didn't right. have any dialogue, which was absolutely hilarious. But didn't they even like try to do some story thing where he had his tongue cut out or something? I thought they like tried to explain yeah, why maybe, he didn't yeah. talk. And yeah. then uh, Sam Jackson was also out there. Yep. Uh, well, Sam Jackson. Well, he hunts you basically. The whole game. Yeah, sort but of right I mean, there was so much of him out in that in that uh, that area. Yeah, I think that was my favorite part of the game. And then uh, obviously, when you get to to the Vegas setting, just seeing that was like. And being able to gamble and stuff. Yeah, you're well, in each area having its own collectibles. Where like Vegas had the horseshoes and uh, I forgot what San Francisco uh, seashells, I think. And there are all the Elvis impersonators walking around. Yeah, so yeah. I, I was know. partial to Los Santos because I got so into the gang war. I yeah. was so, like, Grove Street for life. <laughs> That's what I was all about. And I remember the moment when I had to escape town and just leaving that life behind that I was so invested in. It felt so weird and liberating at the same time. It was a really good feeling that the game evoked. And then it's cool when you go back later, you know, and you're like, you know, you're hot out in Vegas and all of a sudden you go back to save your former place. Yep. I'm trying to figure yeah, out how to get What did you guys think of the kind of the fantastical element? The goofy I like it. Area 51, the jetpack. I found it was kind of maybe not so much game breaking, but I'd use it all the time to get to missions. Yeah. It was just so easy yeah. to, to I'm navigate I'm definitely a big cities. fan. I liked it a lot. You know, I'm, a, I'm still a sucker for motorcycles and dirt bikes. They're my favorite mode of transportation in every GTA game. I've 
you can weave through traffic like a pro. I get places really fast. So I'm still, I love getting on the bike. It's the first thing I do when I pick up a new GTA. Uh, my favorite Grand Theft Auto game is Grand Theft Auto 4. And that had that great biker element with the Lost in the Dead. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, if you watch Sons of Anarchy, it is such a great, uh, a great experience for, for the Grand Theft Auto fan. Uh, what's your favorite game, Dan? I really like Vice a lot. I'm also a fan of the, uh, this one. I, I'd say it's between Vice and 4, really. Um, I, li- I like the, the mood of Vice quite a bit. And that's something they might revisit later. Uh, this generation, they gave us kind of a remake of, of 3 with Liberty City. This is uh, Grand Theft Auto f- uh, 5 is obviously San Andreas, kind of that setting again. Yep. Uh, we'll see if they go to Vice City again next time. And we'll see if this airport has a tarmac, because uh, <laughs> I'm driving around it quite a bit, and I'm not seeing anything. And they've done a, uh, I think it was Grand Theft Auto 1 or 2, there was an expansion set in Europe, correct? In London. Yeah. 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 London. There was yeah. A London Six, uh, 1969, wasn't it? But recently, Hauser has made comments that he, he feels, uh, Dan Hauser I'm speaking of, not Sam, that he feels this is a quintessential product about America. You know, that's kind of what Grand Theft Auto is. He says he doesn't know what it would feel like in a European setting, hmm. in a modern age, so... I don't know that they'll definitely do that. I wouldn't be surprised if they stick with America or do some, you know, like, remember back a couple of years ago, they, they bought all those GTA trademarks for Bogota right. and all those other places like in Grand South Theft America. Like Grand Theft Auto World or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about you, Bert? What's What would you say your favorite uh, entry I'm in the series is? I'm still a guy for 4. 4 is one of the few games I've ever given a 10 out of 10 to. Um, I, I love the story in that game. I lived in New York for six years, and I thought they captured the essence of that city better than most books or films ever did. Um, but I also have a really soft spot for Vice City. That was, I loved what they did with the '80s vibe, with you know, everything from the radio stations, you know, the the commercials about the Bowie knives that my friends and I had had, had those Rambo style right, ones, right, right, where you can put the matches in the back end of it, it to just the characters, you know. They, they had all my favorite Carlito's Way. You know, they had a Carlito's Way type guy. They had a Scarface type guy. So it really captured all the stuff I really liked about the 80s. What about you, Kyle? Uh, it's, it's between 4 and, and San Andreas. With uh, I'm going to probably go with 4 um, just because it's so it's so impressive just in general. Like the, the, just the, the physics engine of 4 and just being able to, like, drive across a bridge at full speed and jump out of your car and just cause crazy pileups and stuff. But I... San Andreas was the first one I actually beat. Like, I played a lot of 3, and I played a lot of Vice City. But San Andreas was the first one I played at completion. So I, it's between those two. 4 and San Andreas are definitely the two that I really love. All right, and Dan, you are... Whoa! I'm trying to find a legitimate jet. You're so real exist. from Shenmue. You're just <laughs> working the forklift there. <laughs> uh, there was an airplane there for a second. There was a little one. I'm trying to find, like, a straight-up jet. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'll just take the first thing I see with wings. Oh, is that one... For some reason, I don't think this is going to end well. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I remember the fighter jet's a little tricky, the, the vertical takeoff and landing. Oh, but yeah. uh, we'll see if I can find a little stunt plane or something. God, I don't remember being this tough to navigate and find planes and stuff. Busiest airport in the world, apparently. Like, LAX? You can find a plane here. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Let's Wait, do this. The Learjet. Yep. Yeah, you can take this. Okay. It's like it had, like... Please don't crash it right away. I'm going to fly it to Las Vegas. Yeah, and let's let's see if you could parachute out on top of the uh, the pyramid. Uh, do you get a parachute? I will not be able to do that, but I will attempt it. You can try. Do you I have a parachute try. when you get in a plane? Yeah, you automatically okay. get a book with one. Oh, my God. This is already going poorly. Turn plane. Well, the music is really it's making it all perfect. I, I turned it to this station every single time I got in a car. What are you doing? I Austin think you want to use the shoulder button back and forth. This is totally the Austin power. This is weird. It was nice. Oh my god. Look at that lighting. Love it. Yeah, it does look pretty good. This does not turn well. Oh my god. Is the controller broken? Oh, you know what? I, it's the new shoulders. There you go. There. Look at that. Look at that. For you first time watchers out there, Dan is notorious for just ignoring buttons on a controller. I haven't played this game in almost a damn decade. You know, <laughs> the X, A button in Robocop. A button. <laughs> You we should do a, a greatest hits of like Dan relearning controls, <laughs> <laughs> like trying to open the door in the Half Life stuff like that. Okay. Oh, All right. Look at that. Yeah, but now let's look at your map. Okay. Figure out where I'm we're going. I'm doing great now. I'm going dead north. That's yep. where. Uh, yeah, I can get to Vegas. You kidding me? This is gonna be a fun journey, guys. I'll be all right. 
messy situation fast. After and that draw distance is not great. Don't hit triangle. Uh, no, I will be doing that when I get over Vegas. So we're landing on the Luxor, or this game's equivalent of it? To, yep. Okay. Here's a look at downtown LA. Clearly LA, there's the US Bank building. You and I ate chicken at the Luxor last year. We did. Yeah. Chicken. Was that at the McDonald's that has a spicy McChicken for a dollar? Between the Luxor and the Excalibur? Because I go there every time I go to Vegas. Yeah, it, it might have been. Why it's is so that good. where you go every time you go to Vegas? Because it's a dollar spicy McChickens. You can't get those anywhere else. You're like, I want to go between two of the crappiest <laughs> hotels on the Strip. I Excalibur is my favorite hotel there. I love Excalibur. Because of the Chippendales? Or the, no, Damn, look at the screen. Thunder, thunder, thunder Down Under. Thunder Down Under. under. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Dan. No, I like the $5 crap stables. That's my thing. Everything else is $10 now. You ever like Tropicana or like Imperial Dan, Palace? Yes. Watch the screen. Not I'm doing birds. fine. I am going straight up here. I'm doing good. Going over the Hollywood Hills right now, I think. Oh, yeah, this station's awesome. Where are we? Let me get down a little lower. Is this Vegas already? I think so. Jesus. Nope. Uh, well, we're close. about to cross over. I mean, those buildings are part of uh, Vegas there. All right. No, that's not Vegas yet, dude. <laughs> you got to cross the river first. I'm across the river now. This is Vegas. Look, there's the damn Luxor. <laughs> there it is. All right, we're gonna do, right, it. do it. Get up higher. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, say Dan does not land properly. Are we, are we uh, oh god. Okay. Right, how, do you you how do you open it? How do you open it? The camel's toe. All right. That's it's just like a scene in Air Force Gator. <laughs> yes. Exactly. I wouldn't mind if that's the way I arrived at Vegas every time. <laughs> yeah, that'd to be, be honest. amazing. That would just be so just nice. Richard Branson plummeting to the ground <laughs> trying to remember how to open your parachute. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Oh, that's fantastic. I got closer than I expected to. Yeah, that was close. Don't need this plane anymore. Any grenades? Oh, probably do. There you go. There you go. This is what it's all about. Oh, God. Ben plays inverted. What the hell's the matter with him? Oh, Bert, you are too, right? You're an inverted guy. Yeah, yep. I'm inverted as well. You guys are insane. Ah, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I forget if this is one of the ones where you could actually, like, decapitate people. Oh, there's the Elvis impersonators. Oh, oh, he's probably fine. I'm gonna go play some $5 craps at Excalibur. Stop shooting me! <laughs> that is definitely the Excalibur. <laughs> The come a lot. God, these guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 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 Get up, get up. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a rough way to go out. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just rammed in the crotch. The, the groin. Oh. Yeah, that's the most not... efficient cop in San Andreas, <laughs> San Andreas. right there. <laughs> I don't use bullets, I use tires. You know, that was probably the guy that just walked by you earlier that was just like, oh, oh that yeah. guy's cool. <laughs> he, he realized it came to his senses. Hey, chili dog guy. All right, so we didn't show you much of the missions or anything like that, but uh, if you haven't played San Andreas, absolutely go back and do it. One of the best games of all time, in my opinion. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Let's move on to Roulette. All right, for our Roulette, we're taking a look at Liberty City Stories I originally played this on PSP. We're taking a look at the PS2 version. Dan, have you played this one yet? Yeah, I played uh, both Liberty and Vice City Stories. and uh, But again, like you, on PSP, I think I reviewed them when they first came out. And uh, pretty cool idea. It's just more GTA. Although the excitement of a new GTA, I mean, so much of it is just the new city. and So it didn't have that excitement, but you know, I'll spend more time in Liberty City. I guess maybe you could look at it kind of like the DLC for Grand Theft Auto 4. Revisiting the city with new characters, new stories. But the cool thing about Lost and Damned and Gay Tony were like, yeah, it's the same city, but those three characters are so different. I think, Bert, you've talked about this before, where it's like, it's just a totally different experience playing as Nico or as Luis or Johnny. Yeah, and that's a, that's a testament to their world building because that world was so dynamic, it could feel different depending on the skin you were in, sort of. Yeah, you're playing in all these like clubs and high society stuff in Gay Tony, and you're playing Lost and Damned, and you're breaking bikers out of, or killing bikers in prison. And, isn't that right? You, you go in, you kill a guy in prison. Yeah, you break yeah. into prison, yeah. Was he going to like snitch or something? Was that the yeah. deal? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it felt like three totally different games, even though it's set in the same city. Do you think, like, Bert, do you, when you think of Gay Tony and Lost and Damned, do you put those kind of on the level of, like, Vice and San Andreas, or are they something smaller than that to you? I think they're a little smaller than that. They're kind of in between. Um, yeah, because Vice the, and San Andreas. The bottom line is everybody should play. If you like Grand Theft Auto and you didn't play those, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. they're so good. Especially yeah. since you can buy it in just, like, one retail package now. Yep. And, okay, let's say, like, you don't have four. Can you just buy Liberty City, or, yeah, it's Liberty City... I believe it is. Episodes from Liberty right? City. 
I don't think you can. You have to have four, right? Yeah, you have to have the disc. Oh, you do? If you download them, yeah. Well, there's a retail version. Yeah. I think you might be able to play without. Yeah, they are fantastic. I absolutely love those. And Gay Tony got a little sillier with the, you know, parachuting and stuff that wasn't in standard four. Yeah, that, that was great. Yeah, yep. And they even changed the HUD and the, the menus to kind of sync up with, with both the new protagonists. Yeah, they are not half-assed DLCs by any means. They're actually probably my favorite DLCs for any game I've ever played. That and Borderlands? Borderlands is cool, but they were, they were much more bite-sized, whereas you download Gay Tony and you've got like a good 8 to 12 hour experience right How there. How about uh, Undead Nightmare? Undead Nightmare was good. Um, I don't know. I didn't like as much as standard Red Dead. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, I'm just, I just don't like zombie stuff for the most part. So, well, let me ask you this: Is Grand Theft Auto 4 your favorite Rockstar game? No, um, Red Dead is probably Red Dead's one of my favorite games ever. Say also, Bully. I'd say Bully is almost a lot up there. Of, uh, bully supporters in the office. Bully's incredible. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're all so so good. I'd put. Red Dead, GTA, and Bully all in that same, like, elite rock star status. You know, I like Max Payne and L.A. Noir and stuff, but uh, I know L.A. Noir's not developed by then. But, yeah, those three are the big pillars for me. I was even a huge fan of the first Manhunt, like, and Warriors. I like that game, too. Warriors is awesome. Talk about doing a license right. Yep. Hey, apartments cost money. Yeah, that's a tough, that, that's like choosing between my children, <laughs> choosing Red Dead or GTA 4. <laughs> You know, G- GTA 4, I think, is a more complete game, maybe. Uh, Red Dead had that Mexico part that really slowed down for me. Right. Um, but other than that, like, overall, I th- felt like the highs for me were higher with Red Dead. Yeah. Not to get into spoiler territory, but territory, but the, the end of Red Dead just yep. did it for me. Yeah, it's incredible. Best, best endings. Game ending. Yeah, I think so. That's the only Rockstar game I've been compelled to get 100% in. I got close with Bully, but Red Dead, I had to do absolutely everything that game had to offer. Now, do you guys play the multiplayer? Not so much. I did a little bit. It was kind of fun to mess around in, but eh, I didn't keep coming yeah, back. Yeah, I liked kind of screwing around. I remember, Reiner, we would set up right along the Hudson River and have people with rocket launchers on one <laughs> side of the river, and then people do motorcycle flips over and see if we could shoot them out of the That's right. Air. We played that for hours. Yeah. yeah, we kind of did the sandbox thing a lot, and I remember when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out on opening weekend, uh, since Bertz and I had already played the multiplayer extensively, we kind of knew how to, like, grief people, so we'd set up buses across the road so yeah, nobody, could get, yeah. nobody could get to the finish line, <laughs> nice. and we'd just sit there and blow people away. <laughs> I remember seeing that bus just reminded me, I used to uh, type in the code to where all the hookers would follow you, and I would get in a bus, and all these hookers would just pile into the bus, and I'd just drive it into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Helping out, helping out society. Liberty yeah, just trying to clean up the streets. You're like some kind of weird today. Grand Theft Auto superhero. <laughs> I'm just stealing whatever I want because that's what you do in Grand Theft Auto. It's the name of the game. The new <laughs> that's what's funny about these Neither games is I can be away from them for a decade and then I look at you playing the city and I almost feel like I know exactly where you're going or where. Oh, yeah. where you know, the, yep. it's amazing the the direction memory that you retain for these games. Oh! Oh! (laughs) Yeah, I think I know the streets of the Grand Theft Auto worlds better than Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't that... Are we near 8-Ball's place? Or is it the, like, high-end car dealership? Gas station. I I think that's 8-Ball's place, like, right in there. Oh, yeah, I know. I think it is. And then the train tracks are right past that. This is, where, ah. this is where you're doing it wrong was. As yeah, well. yeah. And was it Tim that crashed into the billboard up there? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah, there's the train tunnel there, and then eight balls right up there. I think that's where you outfit your cars with bombs. I remember because that mission had where you had the dead body in the trunk in Grand Theft Auto 3, and the trunk could pop open. Yeah, and there was the body in there, which like blew my mind the first time I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And who's your. My favorite protagonist is Nico. Like, I really like that guy. What about you guys? Mm. I got it's just to. I probably would have to go with Nico too, personally. <sighs> I like CJ a lot, but uh, yeah, Nico. Nico's pretty Tommy's great. pretty great too. You know, the writing's just gotten better over. Like, that that was kind of the debate we had when we did our top ten GTA characters. Um, <laughs> you know, t- Tommy Versetti's fantastic, but Tommy Versetti is a bunch of other characters who we've seen before. Right. I think Nico gets points because he was original. You yep. know, he wasn't like anybody else. Well, the three new guys all seem awesome. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And just the chemistry he had with Liberty Roman, City, and that mm-hmm. instant Delta. connection he had with, you know, having someone in this new world, uh, I thought was really cool. Yep. This will probably end well. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I got out because I ran over a guy with a gun, but I think the cop car is on top of it. 
So I always loved just killing someone on the street, waiting for the ambulance to arrive, and when the paramedics come out, just murdering both of them and taking the ambulance. <laughs> I think the cop killed that guy. <laughs> oh. Aww. I think that's a pretty good look at, at uh, Liberty City stories. They also made Vice City stories as well and never got around to San Andreas stories. Mm -mm. I wonder Vita. if the Probably other too big for PSP. Yeah, it could be. Maybe Vita? No, we can all laugh at that. <laughs> well, thanks, Bert, Kyle, and uh, Dan for joining me. And thanks, everyone, again for watching. And uh, we'll see you next Saturday on Replay.